Alrighty, 1219 now on your Tuesday morning. We're going to start you off with the allergy report. I just got the recent uh, numbers in and the tree pollens are now very high, easily the highest we have been so far this season. Trees are starting to explode across the area with flowers and little leaves. And yes, it looks pretty, but it also is very bad for those who suffer from allergies. Right now in Milwaukee, we're at 80 degrees. Winds out of the southeast at 9 miles per hour. Dew point humid at 64. Let's take a look at the numbers across southeastern Wisconsin. Big range in the numbers. Actually, we're not even getting Port Washington right now. I wish we were because that would give us a big range. Again, I, my guess is you're in the 50s and 60s in Port Washington. Uh, even closer to the lake in Racine, 74 degrees. Waukesha, 82. Out in Whitewater, 83 degrees. And Whitewater has a dew point of 70. That's very humid. That's humid for the middle of July. So again, this is some true summer-like weather. Let's go through your dew point cast here again in the humid range for today. Cold front passes through tonight that knocks us back down into the comfortable range for the rest of the week. All right, let's go through your weather headlines. Not as windy today. Yesterday with the gusts up to 40 miles per hour was not very nice. Uh, summer what well, summer warmth here with us today and we're going to see it return again later on this week. Now this evening the potential for some storms and maybe some of them will be severe. All right, storm Max radar and satellite mainly clear skies. We're soaking up the sunshine to the northwest. We have more clouds and a few showers starting to pop now in northwestern Wisconsin. There's your frontal boundary that drops down. Eventually sparks our chance for storms. Probably first for the Fox Valley after four o'clock late this afternoon, and then these storms will start to drop down. This most recent run of the computer model is later. Now I do think a few storms could move in here sooner than this, but this could be the main event here. Now moving through our northern spots through 8, 9, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock here in Milwaukee, around midnight for our southern spots and then out of here by tomorrow morning and then we should be dry uh, during the day on Wednesday with more of a lake breeze on Wednesday. As far as the severe risk goes, it is a slight risk level two of five for widespread severe weather here in southeastern Wisconsin. Now, I, I don't think we're going to see major severe weather, but typically when we're under a slight risk, we do have some scattered strong to severe storms. I think the greatest risk will be damaging straight line winds. Future rainfall with this, uh, again, the potential is there for a half inch to an inch, depending on if you get under one of these bigger downpours. All right, your forecast for today, partly cloudy and breezy, thunderstorms likely late, and a high temperature of 82. We already hit 82 in Milwaukee. Thunderstorms likely early, otherwise patchy fog tonight, and a low of 55. Here's your seven day forecast. I wouldn't be shocked if maybe some inland spots got up to around 88, 89, 90 degrees this afternoon. All right, calm down. <laughs> no, easy, right? <laughs> 70 on Wednesday, yeah, 81 inland uh, for tomorrow. So we do get knocked back a little bit. And then we're back up to 81 for everybody on Thursday and Friday. 70s this weekend. Going to watch for more storms Friday and into Saturday. You're right, though, Tom. I was just doing a Facebook Live, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes ago. And there were some people complaining. Now this is too hot. Okay, I'm not going to complain, but I'll, I'll be honest. Sometimes I don't always believe what you're going to you tell me. Okay, I should. Well, well, come on, now. right? But then I walked outside and I was like, whoa. I'll tell you honestly. It's here. I, I, along these same lines, there have been a lot of people who have been talking to me. Hey, my app says it's only going to be oh, no. 70 today. Why are you going 80 or things like that? I mean, it really does depend on your proximity to yeah. the lake. That's a huge factor. This Look time what I here. started. Yes. All right. Thanks, Brian. Come